little sermon at this afternoon. It is after 12, so I guess it means in the afternoon. And it's great to be here. Let me say I appreciate every wonderful, beautiful song that's been sang. Good to see Sister Peter back in the house of God. I appreciate her. The Lord coming to her and strength and lifting her up. I'll tell you folks, regardless of what we're going through in life, it's important to be in the house of God. Yes. Amen and amen. We're just glad to have uh, each one, just everybody. We appreciate your presence in the house of the Lord. We're going just for a few moments today to the book of uh, Zechariah. Chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. One verse in your ear. Verse 1. The prophet said, Ask ye of the Lord in time of the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Ask ye of the Lord in time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Just for about 10 minutes or so, uh, we want to speak to you today on a little uh, thought, maybe ask for the rain. Amen. Ask, and we, 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 we may just simply shorten that up and simply say ask. Amen. Just simply ask, and that can be for anything. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, on this another Lord's Day, we thank you again for this congregation. I pray, Lord, as it pleases you, touch your word. I'm asking God to be that help to your people. We give you praise and glory in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. You can be seated. Ask for the rain. You know, uh, I think Zechariah uh, got some insight, I guess we could say, some close to 500 years before the coming of the Lord. When, when uh, the question or the comment was made, ask for the rain. He said, ask for the rain in time of the latter rain. To me, rain is rain. But we've got to remember there was a former and now there's going to be a latter rain. And uh, when we, you know, when we look at what the Bible is talking about, the Bible says, uh, Jesus made mention, how that if we believe on him, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen, Jesus Amen. tells his disciples, it's expedient that I go away. Amen. If I go not away the comforter, I shall not come. Right. And we all know that after his resurrection, we find how that the, the angels told the disciples and those that were there, uh, this same Jesus, that ye see go away is coming back in a like manner. Yeah. And the Bible said, Jesus made a statement, ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yeah. Now, when we look at the Word of God, naturally there's a natural and a spiritual rain. Yeah. There's a natural and a spiritual rain. Yeah. And so the church needs to be concerned about the spiritual rain. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so the Bible teaches in so many places about simply asking of the Lord, what do we need from God today? What do we desire of the Lord today? What's our heart be in regard to the Lord and His goodness? What do we desire of God? Hallelujah. When we arise early in the morning, what's our day look like as we go forth? What do we ask of the Lord? The Bible simply says to ask of Him. The Bible says it's His good pleasure to give unto His children good gifts and good things. So simply the church needs uh, uh, to ask uh, in right. some ways uh, uh, for a closer walk with God. Yeah. Uh, 
therefore, deeper experience in the Lord. God less of me and more of you. The Bible says, he that would humble himself shall be exalted. He that exalts himself shall be made a base. So the prophet is simply saying, ask of the Lord in time of the rain and the latter rain. Can I tell you, I firmly believe about in Acts chapter 2 and you know it well where I, I talked about how that when the day of Pentecost was fully come suddenly there came a sound from heaven yes. as of a sound of a rushing mighty wind filled the whole house wherein they were sitting yes. filled the whole house that rushing mighty wind thank God that lit upon them as clothes and tongues as a fire the Bible said it empowered them it empowered them to go out preaching the gospel saving souls healing the sick I thank God what's the problem with the church world today we talk a good talk I said we talk everybody seems like it's speaking in tongues everything that glitters the Holy Ghost will give us power to tread upon serpents, to tread upon that devil. He'll give us power to put your foot spiritually on the devil's head and say, not today, Satan. Not now, Satan. There might have been a day gone by that you got the best of me, but not today. The Bible says to simply ask and you shall receive. I like that. Amen. Those being the words of the Lord. Ask and you shall receive. Our problem in the body of Christ, we ask and give up. Because we think, well, if we pray one prayer for about two minutes, heaven ought to open up. The Lord ought to step out on heaven's balcony. Millions of angels ought to come at our disposal. God ought to thunder, ought to roar like thunder uh, because we pray well, sometime, sometime. Uh, the Bible even teaches the Lord said, in your patience uh, possessing your soul, if you want the goodness of the Lord, if you want a move of God in your heart, wait on the Lord because he has something good in store for you. Our problem is we just don't have time for God. We just don't have time for God. Before we get in trouble, we sure want Him having time for us. Amen. 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 Well, Lord, you know, I talked to you six months ago. Oh. Need your help. Well, Lord, I went three times last year to church. I need you. Oh. You know how we are. Oh. Ask of the rain. Rain is rain. Rain is rain. How many of those rain will get you wet? Yeah. Well, there was a former rain. And I think part of that started, especially on the day of Pentecost. Yeah. The Bible says that the husband man had long patience, uh-oh, till he received the early and the latter rain. There's another rain coming. Yeah. I, my prayer is God don't pass up faith way with the rain. Because somebody in the congregation is wanting to get wet. Somebody, not everybody, not everybody, but preacher, you, you can listen to folks talk. Their speech betrays them. Not everybody really wants a move of God. But the prophet said just simply to ask, 
the 11th chapter of Hebrews talked about how that without faith it's impossible to please God. Yeah. Yeah. He that cometh to God must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of them that deal until they seek Him. So we've got to believe God for the latter rain. We've got to believe God for salvation to our families. We've got to believe God for healing to our bodies. Well, bless His name. I thought about today for a season. Today, my back was spasming, and I thought, oh, were well, you stinking devil? Thank God when I get that glorified body. Yeah. So sometimes we just got to wrestle. Other, you know, sometimes we just got to wait on the Lord. How many knows that? I said, how many knows that? Well, sometimes, sometimes, I said, sometimes, you just got to wait on it. In time of the latter rain, 
So the Lord shall make bright clouds. I mean, he's a blessing God. Yeah, yeah. He's a blessing God. Yeah, yeah. Every good, every perfect gift coming down from God. Amen. That's right. The yeah. Father of the light, yeah. where there's no fireballness, neither shadow of turning. See, God's so much light, he don't even have a shadow. Yeah. All he is is light. Every good. Every good. I said every good. You woke up this morning, that's a good thing. I said you woke up this morning, that's a good thing. You came to God's house, giving it to us. Folks, that's a good thing. Hey. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. How privileged we are. Just ask. Just ask. Thank you, Lord the Lord. This latter rain, like I said, not everybody is going to receive, but somebody will. I'll close with this little comment or statement. When uh, was it Gideon? Had that 32,000 men? Yeah. Going to fight and do battle? Yeah. God said, you got too many. Yeah. Some that were afraid, he sent them back home. Come right down to 300 men. God said, you take these. Yeah. That's right. I'm saying, Lord, give me some people. It's not afraid of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As long as you stay afraid of that devil, you'll never obtain your... I'm talking about every time he just raises his head and you run. Yeah. You'll never walk in your bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right to be afraid, but don't run. Right. It's all right when something comes up real sudden to be afraid, but don't let, you, don't let that devil ca cause uh, fear. To come. The Bible said perfect love cast us out. Cast us out. Fear. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Don't run from the devil. You know, we often talk about being king's kids. King's kid, king of kings. <laughs> You and I are born again. <coughs> if we're heirs of God and join heirs with Christ Jesus, that would seem to be the case. Well, you know, every once in a while, just every once in a while, you need to look at old Slewfoot and say, All right, devil, I know what you've got planned for me, and I know what you said, but you go and you talk it over to my dad. Yeah. Take it to my dad. Right. Take it to my elder brother. Yeah. Talk to you See what he's got to say. Sister Rose, ask you of the Lord, rain in time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Yes. Hallelujah. Absolutely. You know, the Bible talks about in different places concerning this early and latter rain. The Bible talked about how they would come, that the palmer worm, canker worm, palmer worm, canker worm, some of these others would, locusts would eat and devour. And the devil's been doing that for year after year after year to some of God's people. But he said the latter house would be greater than the former. That's right. So I believe in God is going to do some restoring. I believe too. Amen. We got two amens. I believe God, see the only way God can restore if you want him to. God's not going to invade you and do nothing that you don't want done. 
If you don't want no healing, you don't want no salvation for your lost people, if you don't want a job, don't worry about it. Amen. That's right. Amen. Plain simple. Answers of the Lord reign. Stand to your feet in time of the latter rain.